Welcome back YouTube shooters. Um, today I want to do a, start a basic series. I'm probably going to make a series out of this. I don't know. Uh, if you know a lot about guns and you're going to watch this, you're either really bored and you want to look at guns or you are just getting started and probably brand new to the channel. If so, go ahead and shoot that like button please um, <clears throat> and subscribe. Okay, so I... This is just going to be revolvers, okay? Uh, we get into semi-autos on another one. Um, down below, I'll put a link to Facebook Gun Group in case, uh, you know, you're like me and you can't get enough about guns. Okay, so I'm just going to show a couple examples. This is a Charter's Arm, Charter Arms. This is a 32 Magnum, in case you're wondering. And this, it, this button right here pushing this forward will release this cylinder. And then this cylinder has what you call an extractor, so you don't have to pull them out uh, by your fingers. You can just push this, and that ejects the cartridges. So this is very basic. Okay, so but then when you load it, now make sure that you have the right ammo. Usually it's written somewhere on the pistol, okay? And this takes 32 magnums, 32 long, 32 short, so... That's one of the things about revolvers. Usually they have, well, I shouldn't say usually, but at least all the ones I own seem like they take more than one cartridge. So they're like multi-caliber, if you will. And you could just drop them in like this, you know, if you don't have a speed loader or anything fancy. And um, and then you just, I, I'm taking them back out for demonstration purposes so you can see it's empty. All right, then you just, you're going to close it up. And then you have the choice, you can either just pull the trigger, now never aim it at anything that you don't intend to shoot. So it should be on a target, okay? Um, unless you're hunting, then you're an animal. But anyways, uh, or you can do this. Now you got to be really careful because your trigger, it could be like hair, okay? It could be really, really light. And now checking with your, uh, what kind of, revolver you have specifically i guess rim fires are bad for dry fire and that is exactly what i just did was dry fire meaning like you're going to pull the trigger and fire the gun um not having any live rounds in there not actually shooting but just now they do make they're not blanks but they're like plastic bullets that you can put in there and you can use those for dry fire practice now, here's another revolver type. This is called a Chiappa Rhino. Okay, and same thing. You can pull it out and then press the extractor and see it pushes the, the rounds right out for you. Now, this is a 357 Magnum or 38 Special. Okay, and this one also, you can pull the hammer back. Now, you see this hammer has an indicator showing that it's uh, charged. And it can be discharged as simply as this. And when, if you ever need to discharge your hammer without discharging a round, bringing it back to what you call double action. Remember, with the hammer pulled back, that's what we call single action because it takes a single... No, because the gun is going to do a single action with the trigger pull. Where when you pull it like this, it's, it's better to demonstrate with this one. Okay, so here's a double action where it's... See? Whereas a single action would just be... It's, the gun is going to perform a singular action. It's going to just drop the hammer. A double action, I'm pulling that and it's moving the hammer as well. Okay, so anyways, hopefully that explains it. I know I did a terrible job, but excuse me. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the spot. I don't edit these videos at all. Okay, so let me show you. We're going to drop the hammer. Now you've got to be pointed in a safe, nice and slow. You want to be pointed somewhere safe because... Uh, well, most people are scared that, well, it, what if you like this and then, whoops, okay, that it's going to go off and there is that possibility, but know your gun, okay, go somewhere like out in the woods or at the range and with it safely pointed in a safe dir direction, try to force it to do that and see if it'll go off because what I've found is that it's a lot harder for that to happen than people think. But you should know your gun and even if you know yours is one that, man, you can really... Still, keep it pointed in a safe direction if you're going to, you know, be bringing the hammer back down for whatever reason. 
I don't know why you'd pull it back and have a loaded one in there and then decide at the last second, well, I guess I'm not going to shoot it. So I'm going to put my hammer back down. All right. Um, I mean, outside of cleaning, hopefully I've answered any questions that you might have about how, how the revolver functions. I know this is really simple and self-explanatory, but you know what? If you've ne This is for people that have never shot a gun before. That's what I'm making this video series for. That I'm going to do one on semi-automatics. I should have the link below or when I get to it. And I'm going to try to cover uh, the different semi-autos. So like um, a striker fire versus a hammer fire versus a, a single action only. Because I do have one of all of those. And then I may uh, go ahead and make a you know rifle video. I'm just, just a, a bunch of basic videos. So you either got to be really bored, really in love with me, or... You've never shot a gun and you really need the information. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to cover on revolvers. One, one of the nice things, uh, cleaning them is pretty simple. You, you, there's not a lot of taking down and taking apart stuff. You just spray in there, you spray in these, you clean these out. Okay, bring, put your brush through through these and, and through there and your mop and stuff. Okay, so it's very simple. There's not a lot to do it and then oiling it up and it's beyond the scope of this. Also, a lot of these you can change the grips to, to more fancy. Uh, these are not the original Rhino grips that came with this. These are called the Nebula grips. They go with a different gun, but I don't actually own the Nebula. I just ordered the grips, and I think they look good on this. What do you think? All right, so hopefully this has helped someone or someday helped someone because I don't expect a lot of use. I'm not even going to share this all over Facebook. I'm, I don't know if I'll share it at all on Facebook, but... All right, everybody, I just wanted to bring some value out there to the gun community with some real basics for that person that's too embarrassed to, to ask but wants to try to learn how to use a revolver for the first time. I know I when I first bought a gun, I, uh, I actually didn't know how to use it. I had to ask the, the sales guy. It wasn't a revolver. It was, uh, But I think I did when I bought my first revolver. I said, okay, is there anything special I have to know? Uh, but definitely, um, you know, you, you need to know what you're doing so a video never, never hurts. All right. Um, thanks for watching the Basics Revolver Edition. Uh, please give me the like. Out of pity, if nothing else. I'm getting a lot of hate lately. I don't know why. And uh, have a great night.